Alright, first and foremost, I'm going to say all praises be to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem Raka Kodash. And I'm going to say double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Moonstone. And Shalom to the sincere elect teaching the truth in faith and sincerity. A quick topic I want to speak on is based upon, you know, this, 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 this uh, video that the um, leader of the IUIC did, you know. Uh, Nathaniel uh, Seven calls himself Bishop Nathaniel, and basically he's he's basically saying after a thousand years, basically he's all gonna basically you know link up with, with these other nations and try and take us down, and he and he totally butchered the understanding of Ezekiel the the the, the thirty eight uh, thirty eight. And uh, re 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 revelation, the twenty of chapter, you know, and just 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 like how we've been taught, and 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 what our apostles always say, it's like well, whenever you read the book of Revelation, it it it, it jumps in, in in time period, man. But even just the fact that he's trying to, you know, merge it with Ezekiel thirty eight chapter. And say, you know, that's talking about them coming, you know, and, and coming out of slavery. And, 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 and after a thousand years, they're going to try and fight us and get weapons or whatever. It's just, it's just, it's crazy. Because Ezekiel 39 says all these, you know, the weapons and stuff that they got will, will be burnt up. You know what I mean? And, and then even for me, I was even thinking about it it's like if, even if you just think about it it don't even make no sense it's so it's very it's like bro it just it don't even make no sense bro because even if you think about it now yeah how does he so have his his drones his weapons and his missiles you know he he, he has scientists you have they have labs you know where they construct these things and test them out and 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 factories and you know what I mean and so on and so forth. But in the kingdom, the Edomite you see today, right, in a suit and tie, or whatever, he's gonna be beat down to a pulp. <laughs> Slavery's gonna be just just ingrained in Esau and his and his other nations, but especially Esau because he's because he's gonna be the the the, the least of the nations. It's gonna be slavery is gonna be in, ingrained in him. All his all his weapons are, are, are gonna be burnt up, and then he's gonna be extinct. So 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 where's he so gonna, gonna get the, the the chance to have that that the you know to get build 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 factories and and assembly lines and build and build weapons to come and fight us? That ain't gonna happen, bro. In the kingdom, he's going to be beat down to the ground through. Like, and it's just, it's just ridiculous. Because remember, when the Lord comes, he's taking down all the authority of all these nations, man, especially Esau. And Esau's the end of the, end of the, the world, man. As Esau goes down now, and that's it. Then he's gonna just be in complete servitude, right? But this is a Revelation nineteen and eleven, and I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. That's talking about when did the Lord, how uh, shy comes back, right, in, in his fathership, with you know a, a multitude. You know, uh, an an innumerable amount of angels, in 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 what people call you are foes, man, which are the tribes of Israel, which are, are, are coming to 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 to, 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 to save his elect, but also to 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 uh, to uh, burn and burn and destroy, and even uh, Second Ezra thirteen says the the the, 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 the world armies around. The world will obviously try and fight like our Lord, but just lose, you know, get 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 turned to dust and, and smell of smoke. 
So so even so even Esau, uh, in his most puffed up, glorified state, right, go and lose with his armies, right. So what makes you think, after all his weapons are burnt in slavery, that that he going just somehow just just get weapons and fight? No, this is, this is that's not in the scriptures, man. Ezekiel. The thirty eight is talking about now. God gonna make your being being a god unto these these nations, man. And eventually they they are gonna feel you know, think that evil fought where whereby Babylon the Great is destroyed. And also the land of, land of Israel shall be taken out too, but built back up. It don't make no sense. But anyway, he says his eyes was a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. So when this scripture says, all right, that were many crowns, it's talking about the Lord taking all the authority, complete authority, man. When the Lord comes, he's coming to establish his kingdom. And in this kingdom, all these nations going to be be slave going to be in slavery under the 12 tribes of israel man starting off you know you know you know with our lord which in which in the first thousand years is, is when all these heathens are going to be in hardcore slavery especially esau when the kingdom of heaven is being established but then after that thousand years right the devils are going to have their these other heathens going to have their own lands and stuff but but, but esau the, the, the worst of these nations is going to be ex exterminated in the kingdom, man. So, so, so where are they going to get their... Oh, yeah, but we, nah, yeah, now, come on, bro. Those first thousand years, is, is like, every the, the whole new way of life, new system is going to be ingrained into these heathens' head. Because, one, these he the, the, these heathens won't be perfect. They will still, you know, sin, and then obviously when they sin, you know, and, and do 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 certain things, those those you have to be judged. But after a certain time, the the Edomites are going to be exterminated, man. But anyway, it says, and he was clothed with a vesture, clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of, of God. Yeah, that's that's one of the uh, uh, titles of our Lord, man. Just John says, you know, he's he's the Word that was made flesh, and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth, right, go for sharp sword with it that with it he should smite the nations or so so to try them ships, but he can't go and come out them 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 lasers, man. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he, and he treadeth down the fierceness of the wrath of the Almighty God. And he had a vesture, and on his fire, named written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So when the Lord comes back, he's coming to establish rulership and authority upon earth, bro. All these nations, especially the children of Esau, are going to be underneath us in complete slavery and servitude, bro. Now, now as for Esau... All of that, you know, yes, now he's gonna come against us and all of that. He ain't gonna do shit. Cause he's gonna be the least of all these these people. In fact, the scripture speaks about that. Right? This is um Isaiah chapter 14. I'm gonna skip to the point. Um Right, this is Isaiah 14 and 12. Right, it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? And now, uh, Lucifer refers on to the, the elites, you know, the 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 call themselves the um so-called illuminati right but 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 in this 
scripture in Isaiah 14 and 12, really that 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 word has been used to like mock Esau. As in to obviously say, you know, <laughs> here it is. You're so great and so wise and, and so filled with light. Well, well then, how comes you're, 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 you're falling down, man? Like, and, and like basically being in slavery, man. It says, how are that cut down to the ground which should weaken the nations? Yeah, because when Esau goes down, it's going to be like, wow. You know? Because the scripture says, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will send into the heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit also upon the mountain of the congregation in the sides of the, the, the north. I will send above the heights of the cloud, I will be like the most high. So right now, he's so proud, man. Starting off with... With, the, with his elites, but, but, but as the people, right, they have a God complex, starting off with, with his elites. That's why, he, 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 you know, they obviously want to go as far as implanting people with uh, uh, chips, right? So, 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 so right now, he, he's uh, very pompous and proud, right? But what does the scripture says? Yet, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. So, so all of that pride, when you're taken down and in slavery, you're gonna be seen as nothing. And even amongst, because of, of course, all, all, all these other nations going, 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 go to slavery. But you gonna be the lowest of the low, bro. You gonna be like the, the same state or, or when you was, you know, in a. Caucus mountains and, and grunting and all that, you, 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 bro. You, you're gonna be beat down, bro. So, 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 so the way you gonna get that uh, time to uh, secretly build uh, uh, weapons and come come back and try and fight us? Yeah, that's not gonna happen, bro. Furthermore, we is the hopeful elect, all right? You know, and and as a nation. Right, because you know the rest of Israel are gonna come through the uh, seed of those that are elect, which obviously the Nate tried to say, and now that ain't the case. But the point is, we gonna have spiritual power. We 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 we, 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 we gonna be able to fly, be able to fly, gonna be able to even read thoughts. The um, Lord turned to his men that. Basically, what what I'm able to do, you shall do more and greater. And guess what? The Lord Himself was able to read thoughts. So, so, so even in so, so even in the kingdom, man, if Edomite or, or like a, um, a couple Edomites are, you know, what I mean, like in the fields, like, look, man, you know, let's um do the bro. Even before they can even. Move an inch, zap, <laughs> or or we disappear before them. Come on, man, we, we, that ain't gonna happen. They gonna know their place, bro. But I'm just saying, like, it, even if that thought crossed their mind, it's gonna be nipped in a bud, bro. All Esau gonna know is I gotta dig this pit, and I gotta. Uh, Pick this, you know, you know, I, I, I gotta smash these rocks. You know what I mean? I, I gotta pick this fruit. That, come on, bro. I have to take care of this farm. Like, come on, man. But anyway. Um, uh, it says, They that see thee shall narrowly look upon these let's go into that word narrowly to 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 to, to gaze to stare to glance at right like in in like an amazement like and consider these saying is this the man that made the earth to tremble that did shake the, the, the kingdoms 
that made the world world uh, uh, as a wilderness that destroyed cities thereof that opened up the house of prisoners you see so that's that's what's that's what's gonna happen when when all these the nations are are taken down and and in slavery even other heathens gonna observe esau like damn this at this at a point was a so-called great white man you know the the people that was able to fight nations and had to have everyone in, in fear to take peace from the earth when he goes down even the other nations gonna be like I, I, I mean i understand i'm under these israelites but damn you though you you are just the basis of men because because esau is the basis of men he has power now because the lord gave him power bro but once he's taken down he ain't gonna bro he, he's gonna people 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 acting like the so-called edomite that that, that 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 you see now with his suit and tie and oh his wisdom and oh his factories and oh his scientists and oh listen in the kingdom what what you know today is uh, as Esau, uh, are these Edomites? They they are not gonna be the same in the kingdom. In the kingdom, they're gonna be literally the basis of all men as they are fucking anyway. They gonna be the lowest of the low, the lowest of the low slaves, bro. And we gonna have them in complete subjection and servitude. It ain't gonna be no. They're going to go behind our back and do nothing, bro. Because, cause one, we're going to be ha we're gonna have spiritual power. The scripture says that, 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 that we going to judge angels. And the, the, the angels of the Most High are the eyes of the Most High, right? And the scripture says the eyes of the Most High are in every place. So, 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 so how, how are they, so, so how are they gonna, you know, go behind our back and, 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 and do anything? That's not gonna happen, bro. Right? This is a uh, revelation two and 25. It says, but, but that which you have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my words unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Right? And and, and it starts off with those that, that, that are of his elect, man. Right? And then obviously, you know, the, the rest of Israel are going to come through for, for his elect. And, 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 you know, I mean, you know, I mean, and also have power over these nations. But it starts off, you know, with his elect. And what does it say, though? And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of potter shall they be broken to the shivers, even as I receive of my father. All right, and that's what's gonna happen. Now, if you, if you go into the to the to the, to the word um, rod in this verse, right? Yeah, which um, I saw. The elder, um, Manat Azakba, right, you know, was basically going into this, right? It's the word Rabdos, right? It says a staff, a walking stick, or so on and so forth. But if you skip, skip down, it says a rod which well, one is beaten, right? It says rod of iron indicates the most severest, most rigorous rule that's how it's gonna be that's how it's gonna be and guess what it's gonna end up and result in the extermination of the the Edomites after a thousand years do you think Esau's gonna have a Esau, Esau in the kingdom of heaven it ain't gonna have no say bro these other you know Esau going be beyond that plantation trying to speak and the Darwin is going to be like man sh man sh shut the hell up man come on man this is uh Ezekiel 25 and 12 
it says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Because that Edom have dealt, have dealt, uh, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and have greatly offended and revenge himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh Shai. I will also stretch up my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from from team in the day of. The 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 land shall fall by the sword. Now, of course, as we know, when the scripture speaks about uh, land being totally uh, cut off, of course, as we know, that's talking about Babylon, the the the, the, the great, which is the modern land of Bosra. But the, but the actual people of Edom are going to be exterminated too, which is which is in uh, Obadiah. But what does the scripture say though? And I'll lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine honor and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord. How about shy? And the time in which that we gonna be able to exact uh, vengeance and, you know, <coughs> do what needs to be done that's going to be like in the kingdom of heaven man so 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 so, so, so when is he so that whole after a thousand years he gonna right me ain't gonna rise and do nothing bro he's gonna be beaten down bro he 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 he, he, he literally gonna be beaten down into into subjection he ain't gonna have no say no power no nothing so, 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 so that point of, yeah, after, uh, come on, you're saying after slavery, then he's going to rise. What are you talking about? Daniel chapter seven and, um, and, uh, and 27 and the kingdom and dominion and the the, the 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 greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of saints of the most high which is saints of the most high the total tribes of israel psalms 148 psalms uh, uh, 50 and 5 whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominion shall serve and obey him so all these other nations right go, 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 gonna know look man we have to serve the people of, of, of the most high. And in slavery, the first thousand years, man, these these heathen are gonna be in complete servitude. But especially Esau. Especially Esau. That's why all these nations are gonna narrowly look at him and be like, Wow, is this is this the man? Because Esau is the most proud of proud of all the nations. Now everyone blows smoke up Esau's ass. And, and and you know be, because he's been given a power but once he's didn't taken out the power so hold on I did call it, all right so so the Lord yeah how was eh? gonna finally make his grand entrance come come in and save his leg right destroy Esau's world, world armies right have all these nations in servitude and slavery right Hardcore slavery for a thousand years. The other nations gonna get their 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 lands and you know pay a, a tribute and be in servitude. But then at that point when slavery is ingrained, is when these Edomites are gonna just okay let's build weapons. Come on, bro, and fight the Israelites. That ain't happening, bro. So, so what's gonna happen? So, 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 so are they gonna like you know uh, after they're on the plantation? Just, 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 just go on the earth and have a secret science lab, science lab, and then, and then have a have a computer, and and okay, let's uh design our missiles. That ain't happening, bro. <laughs> it's not it's just not happening. And it says here too, and it says uh, and, and whose kingdom. Is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. This is a uh, lamentations four 
and uh, 22 right um, and 21 it says rejoice and be glad O daughter of Edom that dwelleth in the land of Uz the cup also shall pass through into thee and thou shalt be a drunken and shall make thyself naked and that's what's happening right that like the it, it, Esau is, is being exposed, man. You know, right? And and the modern day Atlanta is is Babylon, Babylon the Great, which is America, which is the chief a uh, 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 stronghold. So 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 everything, all of his 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 wickedness, wickedness is being exposed now. But that that cup that's gonna pass through unto him is slavery. Which ain't happened yet, but basically, Esau's been exposed, and you know, basically, after this, you know, you know, you know, last few 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 prophecies, the Lord gonna come back, and then we're gonna have you in slavery. But in in terms of him being exposed, and you know, his sins being shown before his face, that's what's happening now. The punishment of that that, that iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit um, thine iniquity or, or daughter of Eden. He will discover thy sins. And if you go into the word discover, right, it says to uncover, to remove, right, to uncover oneself, to reveal himself, to be uncovered, to be disclosed, to be revealed, to disclose, to, to lay bare, to show, to reveal. So that's what's happening. All the, all the sins that Esau right are being are being exposed and seen throughout the earth man right and it's in and if you go into the uh zondervan compact bible dictionary it basically says that that, that he's a scene of great future judgment and the only neighbor of of the israelites that haven't been promised no mercy man because over that 18 clearly states what's going to happen to you man well well uh, after that thousand years is straight extermination you, you, you ain't gonna have time <laughs> and it's not gonna happen anyway you know i'm making a joke of it but come on man over oh, there chapter 118 and the house of jacob shall be a fire and uh, hold on over oh, there chapter 1 and 10 i'm gonna see it read 10 first for that violence against thy brother jacob shame shall c cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever you're gonna be exterminated man they ain't gonna after a certain time period in the kingdom. They ain't gonna be a nation called the, 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 the Edomites anymore. You're gonna be a distant um, memory. Obadiah chapter one and eighteen, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph be flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall be not any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord have spoken it. Yeah, cause, 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 cause we gonna have that spiritual power, man, and a time gonna come where you gonna, you know, that spiritual power gonna be used, and you are gonna be uh, 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 lit up, man, and exterminated. That's gonna happen in the kingdom of heaven. Come on, bro. The 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 the, 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 the king of heaven is going to be established upon earth, right? And we're going to have all these other nations of slavery, especially the ch children of Esau and Edom. And then there's going to be a day when they're just gone. So, so, so where they're gonna? So, 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 so where's that myth coming from? That 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 myth is coming from breaking down the, the, the scriptures wrong. Yeah, you know, then you know. Go, go and build weapons and then it's just not it's just madness bro it's just madness bro this is uh jeremiah 30 and 16 therefore all they that devour thee shall be <laughs> devoured and every one of the, 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 the adversaries every or one of them shall go into captivity and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil and all that they prey upon thee shall be a prey now of course right our main adversary is 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 is, is Esau Edom so, so so isn't it right that in the 
kingdom of heaven, they are going to be the nation to catch the most hell. And that's what that's what it gonna be. That's that's what it what that's what it that's, that's what it will be, man. He ain't no yeah. He gonna go you know go go build his distant. But he ain't gonna have no. He ain't gonna have no. He ain't gonna have no. Listen, he he just gonna know his place. Gonna dig them pits, and 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 and, and, and keep it moving, man. You know. So yeah, man. You know, I just I just wanted to to just make a you know a couple of points, but that's really the point. Like, d- 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 when the Lord comes, he he's coming to take down all their authority, bro. Even even him in power now, even him in power now is gonna be taken down. Even him in power now with his with his with his missiles and lasers or whatever he's got his drones, that's gonna be no match f- 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 for our Lord. So what makes you think a thousand years into slavery? At the end of it, he gonna just somehow get the, the wisdom to have the technology to fight. He, that ain't happening, bro. We as a nation gonna have spiritual power, bro. They 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 think off thought we're gonna be there straight away or send an angel there straight away. <laughs> you know, you got, come on, man. It's just, it's just it's just it's just a it's just a it's just a complete myth, man. Right, the Astro Scripture says, He that is feeble, you know, among these shall be as David, and, and, and the, 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 the house of the Most High, right, the, 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 the tabernacle of David shall, shall, shall be as the uh, powers, even as the, 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 the angels of, you know, you know what I mean, of the Most High, right, and one angel can destroy the, the, the whole earth, and I'm sure for a fact. You know, I mean, the angels can read minds, man. So, so that 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 whole even that understanding of that they're gonna go behind our back and that ain't happening, bro. All right, so hey, with that, I'm gonna say praises be unto unto say how about you not shy, but you not go dash. Double honor to the person that was great most times. The next time I'm gonna say number one.